और साइट exclusive coverage of E308 live presented by Wendy's this year it's all about the games as it should be yeah, of course. I mean, we've got live hands on demos of every big title that is here G4 has invaded the LA Convention Center and we'll be bringing you interviews floor reports and all the latest news as it breaks you can't come here in person, but you know, we're the next best thing, right? Really, I mean, you're getting to see absolutely everything. Coming yes. up in this hour, we turn this mother up to 11, and we're going to demo Rock Band 2 live on our stage. Bit of warning, yeah. faces will be melted. You know, it's just a danger we have to take. Now, plus, we're going hands-on with Star Wars The Force Unleashed, the next chapter in the Star Wars saga. We'll show you how fun it is to be Vader's apprentice. Then we'll look at the all-new Bionic Commando and swing through the streets with Nathan Rad Spencer. But first, let's send it over to Olivia. Motorstorm has been thrilling PS3 owners since the early days of the console. Its sequel titled Pacific Rift promises to keep the thrills coming in a whole new environment. Let's go over to Blair Turner for more. I'm hanging out with Paul Hollywood. Yes, that's his real name. He's the creative director of Motorstorm Pacific Rift. Now, Paul, the original Motorstorm is the top-selling PS3 title of all time, man. So how are you going to improve on that success? Well, the first thing we can do is not change the good parts about the game. Build upon them. We're going to make it bigger, we made it better, and we made it much, much badder. The biggest change is we put it in a new location. That location is based on the stunning islands of Hawaii. And what we've done, we've created a fictitious island from those islands where you can now experience brutal off-road racing in different elemental zones. We have fire zones with heat that eats up the engine. We have vegetation earth zones, which has a reactive force onto the vehicles. We have water zones. Water cools down the engine temperature, which adds an extra tactical dimension to the racing. And we have air zones with massive, huge jumps and precarious cliff edge tracks. We've also added a new vehicle class, the unstoppable monster truck. Our monster truck is a great addition to our large, sweet of vehicles you have in Motorstorm, and it's like a case of choose your weapon, the best weapon for the environment, because the environment now fights back. The environments are now totally destructible, so you have some great fun smashing up, making complete mayhem of, of the track that you're racing around. We also have the defamation from the mud, we also have split screen racing for up to four players, we have online, and we have music on the cross media bar. Nice, dude, sounds exciting, thanks so much, no back problem. to you guys. He's such a I know. gamer. He's having himself a grand old Yeah, time. this is his Disneyland. <laughs> you guys still ahead. Four gods of rock will take the stage and demo one of the year's biggest sequels. Get ready for Rock Band 2. Are we those four gods? I don't know. We're going to leave it as a surprise. If we say we are, I don't know if I'm going to stick oh, yeah, around. I, I, I don't think no, well, it would be very good. Mm -hmm. But later on, we'll take a tour of the galaxy and, you know, choke some Wookiees with Star Wars The Force Unleashed. They totally deserve it. <laughs> and keep your iPod fed for the latest E308 downloads. The G4 special E3 podcast is at g4tv.com slash podcast. You guys stay with us. We've got yeah. more show coming up. E308 Live continues. E308 Live is brought to you by Wendy's. It's way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. Or to speak to someone directly, say agent. A I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. Agent? I'm sorry. A oh. Oh. Spit out your stride gum and chew another piece already. Or we'll find you. Got it. Leave the ram. The ridiculously long-lasting gum. New Stride Sweet Berry. My mom mentioned the Harmony, and I just didn't take myself as a guy who really needed the internet. And then I kind of changed my ideas where it wasn't necessary to get a date, it was to meet the right person. Log on and review your matches for free. eHarmony.com when you're Hendrick Motorsports, every race is a battle fought with Q Motor Oil technology. Get the Q horsepower specially designed for your car. Unleash all your horses. What if I told you there's a quick and easy way to get today's most popular stop for free? All you need is internet access. 
Answer a few questions, then tell us where to send your free gift. It's fast, it's easy, and it's real. Thousands of people have already claimed their free gift. I thought it was too good to be true. Then I got my free Xbox. I got a free Xbox for my son. An offer like this doesn't come around every day. Check out the website now and get your free gift. My name is Wilfredo Siliazar. Um, I'm a graduate from ITT Tech. Um, my name is Manuel Silazar. I also went to ITT Tech. We were the first two to actually uh, have a, a degree out of our entire family. I never thought my younger brother would have made it this far. It's one of the biggest accomplishments of my life to graduate from school. Everything that he uh, put himself to do, he achieves it. After I saw that he was uh, doing great in his job, uh, making good money. Uh, I saw the need that he needed in education. I was going through some tough uh, times. I saw the type of work he was doing. He wasn't happy. I moved him into my house and uh, within a few weeks he was already started in, in his path uh, to his new career. He started with nothing and now he has everything. I'm proud of you. You know, we'll both take care of my dad. Thank you. You're welcome. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute. Education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052. Me? Well, I help save people money on car insurance and I support wildlife conservation. I'm actually working with the Association of Zoos and Aquariums right now. I'm going to be making rounds of a whole bunch of aquariums. And you? I mean, I'll be honest, it is very hard to talk with you. I mean, where exactly is your face? Is that it? Nah, nah, nah that's your belly button, isn't it? Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The all-new season of Code Monkeys continues. Give me the best boob job 200 bucks can buy. Yeah. All-new episode, Sunday night at 10, only on G4. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. Battle for Global Supremacy, the Championship Gaming Series. Starts tonight at 9, right after E3. Part of G4 Stay Out of the Sun Summer. Exclusive coverage of E3 08 Live. So many games, so much time. This is only the first yes. day, and we really have covered like a ton. We have, but we'll have more exclusive live demos in just a second. But first, let's head over to Kevin. Yes, while we're shackled to the stage, Chris Hardwick is out there on the floor with a game that basically shows you what my weekends are like, to be honest. It's called This is Vegas. So I'm here with Alan Patmore, the studio head of Surreal Software. Alan, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this awesome game, This Is Vegas. Now, you've condensed the Vegas experience into a video game, which Vegas for me it just smells like poop and sadness. How have you made that into a game? Well, we really started with an open world base, you know, where you can fight and drive, but then we wanted to add all the cool things and breadth of activities that you can do in Vegas, which is all about partying, drinking, dancing and going to strip clubs, and we got it all in Vegas. Can I make love to a We allude to making love to a, a <laughs> <laughs> But uh, we do it in a much more tongue-in-cheek sort of fashion. Right. Well, I want to talk about that, because obviously there's a lot of cool stuff. You have four pillars of gameplay, and there are tasks that you can complete. But you know, like, what, what made you guys say, this game has to be funny? Like, I like, I like seeing humor in, in, in games now. We really wanted to make fun of the Vegas lifestyle. I mean, Vegas is so over the top and ridiculous that, you know, it just begs to make fun of. And, you know, we have a great writer who came up with some really funny content. And you go through these crazy sort of misadventures throughout your rise from nothing to basically the king of Vegas. And it is a freaking hilarious game. So this is actually probably a fun game to put together. Oh, it's been a blast. All right, so I want to know, is this game available now or is it coming out soon? 2009. 2009 is a game that comes out, This Is Vegas, this is Alan Patmore with Surreal Software, so check it out. All right, Chris, thanks for that floor report. Right now, let's head over to Adam and Olivia. 
All right, after the break, we've got an amazing double feature with Kicks and Jedi ass with a world broadcast premiere demo of Star Wars, The Force Unleashed, and then we'll check out Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Plus, you guys, we're going to tune up with the latest installment in a certain music-making franchise. I wonder what that one is. It's a hard one, a big music? franchise based on music. Put your thinking caps on, you guys. When G4's E3 08 Live covers continue. Someone got it. She does mean rock band, too. It's, it's not Wii music. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> Our exclusive hands-on demo. We're going to be right back. Could be Wii music. Fans and critics agree, Attack of the Show is time well wasted. Testify! One of the coolest shows on TV, Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7 and 10, only on G4. Those look good. They are. They're dibs, bite-sized ice cream snacks. Is that the handy new snack bag? You bet it is. Try them. I like those. I wonder what they'll end up doing with all the oversized lollipops. Uh, oh! You a big baby. Oh! Do dibs instead. Now in the handy new snack bag. I have a structured settlement and I need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth. 877 cash now. I have an annuity but I need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth. 877 cash now. 877 Cash Now! They have thousands, they'll help you too. One lump sum of cash they will pay to you. If you get long term payments but you need cash now, call JG Wentworth! 877 Cash Now! 877 Cash Now! 877 Cash Now! 877 Cash Now! It's your money. Use it when you need it. Call J.G. Wentworth. 877 Cash Now. Oh, you make me invisible. The premium Dell XPS M1530 with Windows Live Photo Gallery. Load, edit, and share your photos. And for a limited time, get a flip video camcorder, all for just $9.99, or finance for less than $2 a day. Go to Dell.com or call now. Dell, yours is here. All I knew was I wanted to work on electronics, obviously. I wanted to have a really successful career at it. My name is Nathaniel Carpenter. I am a information systems analyst. Well, I got my education from ITT Technical Institute. My wife thinks that my choice to go to ITT Tech has definitely helped me to reach the goals that I have for myself, my wife, and our life together. To be able to pick and choose where we want to go and also the lifestyle that we want to live. What I liked about ITT Tech was the fact that um, I liked everything about ITT Tech. <laughs> We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. Get an education that can help you reach your goals. ITT Tech has information on financial aid for those who qualify. Call 1-800-372-4052. Do you want to own a brand new HP, Dell, or other name brand computer and improve your credit at the same time? If so, Tronix Country says you're approved, guaranteed. I wanted a new computer, but I couldn't get financed. Then I called Tronix Country. They approved me, delivered my new computer, and are reporting on my credit. If you have an active checking account and can afford low, flexible payments, you're already approved, guaranteed, for this special offer. There's no credit check, so you won't be turned down. Tronics Country approved me quickly. I got instant approval, and it was easy. My flexible payment plans made it easy on my budget, and my kids are getting ahead in school. I started my own business, and now I'm my own boss. Call now, and with your paid order, we'll add a free color printer, free MP3 music player, and free LCD TV. You heard right. Free printer, free MP3 player, and free LCD TV. Call now and tell us where you want your brand new computer and free gift shipped today. I'm glad I called.
because you won't find this coverage anywhere else. I know. We we basically took off like a quarter of the It's no big deal. Here. It's no big deal. Yeah. They, they were gonna use the space for games, and guess what? We are. So <laughs> we it's are fine. about gaming. Now since E3 is invite only, we really are your only way inside. It's either that or Octo Camo? Invincibility quote? Yeah, yeah, one of the same, you know? Yeah. And, and and those don't exist in the real world. Sorry guys. No, but they might one day. Future tech. They could. A boy up. can dream. Maybe. Could think of a couple uses. But until then, you guys sit right there and keep it on G4. Later on, we are going to rock you like a hurricane, or it might just sound like a hurricane. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. <laughs> There'll yeah. be uh, some wind noises coming out of the microphone. I <laughs> we think. are going to demo Rock Band 2. I've been asked to sing. Are you going to? You know how much I love to sing. And you know how much I love to hear you sing, so <laughs> Kevin, great. We can never figure out where my tone is. But uh, we're going to get to Rock Band 2 later. You guys stick around for that. But first, let's go over to Morgan for our latest demo. It is time for me to call upon my many years of Jedi training because we've got the next chapter in the epic space saga. Here's the World Podcast premiere demo of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. The world's most famous science fiction series continues this year with Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Set between episodes 3 and 4, the game follows Darth Vader's secret apprentice on his path of destruction through the galaxy. Groundbreaking physics technology allows players to slay foes with the Force and dispose of enemies in ways never seen before. The next chapter in the Star Wars series is here, and it's brutal. Star Wars Force Unleashed Project Lead Hayden Blackman is here to guide us on our Jedi journey. Take us down the path to the dark side, will you? <laughs> All right, so you play as Darth Vader's secret apprentice. You're not exactly a good guy. How do you make that character likable? Well, we really did try and humanize him. He actually has a droid sidekick that uh, he develops a relationship with over time. Like, like a pet. It, almost like a pet. He's kind of a brutal <laughs> training droid, but yeah. Well, you know, I mean, he, this uh, is the kind of pet I'm interested in. <laughs> Um, so what are we taking a look at here? So here, this is the first level of the game where you actually play as Darth Vader's secret apprentice. And this is a TIE fighter factory that Darth Vader sent you to to wipe out a uh, Jedi that's taken it over. And he's given you explicit instructions to wipe out everybody in there, leave no witnesses because you are his secret apprentice. So here you'll see that the apprentice has a, a wealth of different powers. He's got force push, he's got grip, he's got lightning. You can pretty much interact with anything in the environment and really just kick ass with the force, which is what the game's all about. So how do your powers progress as the game goes on? So as you progress through the game, you'll unlock brand new powers. You'll also be able to improve your existing powers. You gain new combos. We really focus on a, a rich, deep combo system that's not just melee focused, but also allows you to combine melee attacks with force power. So you might infuse your lightsaber with lightning, for example, or follow up a lightsaber attack with a push. And then you can also combine different force powers in new ways as you advance through the game. So as you advance through the game, um, how do you choose your path? Or are you able to change your path at all? Well, the theme of the story is redemption, so without giving away too much, you definitely have some big choices to make throughout the course of the story. Um, so, ha so once you have your um, your enemies up in the air in 3D, I mean, how are you controlling the objects that you pick up and move? Like, how do you gain that feeling of control over the world? You actually have full control over any character or object in 3D space using the thumbsticks on the controller on the PS3 or the Xbox 360, so you can move them forward, backwards, up, down, left, or right, and then you can throw them really easy by just flicking a stick and letting go of the, the grip button. So it's very intuitive and very accessible. So uh, I hear you brought a special little treat just for us. Yeah, we actually have a lot of unlockables in the game and different costumes and lightsaber crystals and other things that you can find. So we really wanted to show you guys, you know, one example of a costume that you can unlock in the game. And this one's kind of a little fun one uh, and it's actually your droid sidekick, Proxy. So that's one of many that you'll be able to unlock throughout the course of the game. His uh, name's Proxy? Proxy, yeah, he's your droid adorable. sidekick, yeah. And he, he actually he serves as a training droid, but he's also very naive and, you know, kind of uh, allows you to to humanize the character as you go through the game. Right, it must be kind of exciting to be able to bring so much of the Star Wars lore into uh, the game that you're making. It was, we were able to really bridge the gap between episodes three and four and George Lucas really gave us a lot of feedback on the different types of things that would be happening during that time period, the things that Darth Vader might be doing, uh, things that the Emperor are doing, so we're really able to ground it firmly in kind of the lore of Star Wars. Well, people that, get so, so excited about that too. Absolutely, right. So well, there's a lot also, for fans. 
They're all they're also nitpicky. All right, what are we yeah. taking a look at here? So this is the opening of the uh, Tie Fighter Factory. Normally that would be the apprentice character, and this is a uh, proxy. So you get to play the game as proxy all the way through. You know, this is kind nice. of a proxy skin. And this is one of several unlockables that we have in the game, and uh, a little sneak peek here for you guys. Well, unlockables are great because they really help uh, replayability. Absolutely. You know, people love them. Um, let's talk about some of the melee combat. How, how is that going to work? I mean. What do, what do people want more than anything else? They want to hit things with the lightsaber. Absolutely. So we knew that the lightsaber was going to be an important part of the game. We wanted to treat it like another force power. So all of your force powers are unleashed. We wanted to make the lightsaber feel unleashed as well. So you have a ton of different things you can do with it. You have a dozen combos or more that you can unlock through the course of the game. And then again, being able to combine those with force powers really just opens everything up. Well, let's talk about some of the enemies, some of the bigger enemies that you're going to encounter. We have a wide range of enemies in the game, everything from stormtroopers to big monsters like the Rancor or the ATST. Again, we wanted to create a, a variety of different tactics for the player, a variety of different challenges. So every planet that you go to will have its own kind of suite of unique enemies that you'll have to figure out. Well, we're so excited. Thank you. It's just been really great to see it. I know everybody's been very excited about it. We showed it at Expo a little while ago, yeah. and everybody, we just got so much email about it. So, so we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the demo. Let's head it back over to Adam and Kevin. Thanks. Oh, that looks like so much fun. It looks fun, but when you actually play this game, is it easy to pull off all those moves? It seemed like there was a thousand different things going on. Yeah, it, it, is, it is amazingly satisfying. I cannot wait for this. Next up on our live coverage of E308, Nathan Rad Spencer makes his return, and Capcom's reimagining a Bionic Commando. And we'll go hands-on with the game. And later, you might uh, see some, I don't know, maybe some goat head. Two. The goat head. It's, we're we're goat head two. <laughs> it could happen when we demo Rock Band 2. It's all on G4. Right after this quick break. Stones reference. The suit. In eight days, Carl Conrad, the coolest geek in the world, will be watching Comic Con 08 live on G4 with exclusive coverage of Wolverine, Watchmen, Star Trek, Terminator Salvation, and Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Comic Con 08 live starts July 24th only on G4. Your teeth are a living part of your body. And over time, the enamel begins to weaken from the inside. But now you can help rebuild your teeth. New Trident Extra Care, the only gum with Recaldin, a unique form of calcium that penetrates into and strengthens tooth enamel. Trident Extra Care, chew strong. At eHarmony, we match you with other singles based on compatibility. And the best part is, you can review your matches absolutely free. Aren't you curious to see who you'd be matched with? Log on and review your matches for free. eHarmony.com Don! What? Who wants Milky Minutes anyway? Besides, they're from last month. They're rollover minutes. They're perfectly good. You know, my sister doesn't have at &T. Guess what happens to her old minutes? She loses them. She loses them. So I'm sure she'd be happy with those Milky Minutes. Isn't your sister lactose intolerant? <laughs> Only AT&T's Family Talk with Rollover saves your family's unused minutes. It's the best value around. And now, add a line for just $9.99. For a limited time, get our exclusive LG Shine for only $49.99. Alex Klein is a real Geico customer, not a paid celebrity. So to help tell his story, we hired that guy who does those funny sound effects. My car was totaled over a thousand miles from home. <laughs> so I called Geico. And in less than 10 business hours, I got a check for a new car. <laughs> Geico. Real service, real savings. Crimes are an unfortunate part of our society. The field of criminal justice is full of men and women, both in the public eye and behind the scenes, working to secure our future. The ITT Technical Institute School of Criminal Justice teaches the fundamentals of the criminal justice system and criminal justice skills. Graduates may be ready to pursue a broad spectrum of careers in the private sector, as well as entry-level positions involving criminal justice, including parole and probation, community corrections and court systems. Be one of the many dedicated Americans who participate in making our nation a better and safer place for us all.
ITT Technical Institute School of Criminal Justice, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. With over a billion movies delivered so far, it's movie time. Netflix. What if I told you there's a quick and easy way to get today's most popular stuff for free? All you need is internet access. Answer a few questions, then tell us where to send your free gift. It's fast, it's easy, and it's real. Thousands of people have already claimed their free gift. I thought it was too good to be true. Then I got my free Xbox. I got a free Xbox for my son. An offer like this doesn't come around every day. Check out the website now and get your free gift. Promise of some game in five years. It's about the here and now. The games you'll be playing very soon. Very soon. I gotta yes. point out everything we've already seen. I don't know how it's returned to my games. I want the new ones we just saw. Well, the old games look bad now. I know. They're just they're, they're not my friend. Anyway, we've got live demos of every big name title on the horizon. Coverage of everything happening on the show floor and the latest breaking news for our next game. Let's send it over to Olivia. Thanks, guys. Now, while Capcom is bringing back its classic Street Fighter franchise. This year, another fan favorite is getting a makeover as well. It's been a long time since we last saw Nathan Rad Spencer, but he's back in the all-new Bionic Commando. Joining us today is Simon Vicklin. Thank you very much for being here. Now, he is the sound designer for Capcom, is that right? For Grin, yeah, the yeah. developer of the game. All right, now I want to get into the game. It's been 20 years since the original was released, but in terms of story, this is a true sequel, right? I mean, it, it's it's just moving on to where we left off. Left yeah. off. So I want to ask you, what is uh, Nathan Spencer up against in this game, and where will his bionic arm take him now? Well, the original game, this, this game takes place 10 years after the original game. Okay. And uh, during most of this time, Spencer has been in prison. So he's released from prison. He was in death row. He was supposed to be killed. Wow. Uh, How'd he get out? But uh, terrorists attack Ascension City and blow up a bomb inside, which destroys the most part of the city. And the only one who can save the day and get inside is uh, Nathan Spencer. So they uh, they spare his life if, if he manages, you know, to yeah. to defeat the uh, the terrorists. Now your game it has gone from 3D to uh, from 2D to 3D. Were there a lot of challenges in, in making it from that step to the other? Oh yeah, there's a lot to think about. I mean, both the you know, the change of the view of the camera, yeah. but also because the original game is old, there's a lot you have to adapt to, you know, that gamers of today would uh, expect from a game. So there's there's several like levels of, of, of things to think about, definitely. Yeah, especially right now, like things are so big and great and perfect, and there's a, there's a new level, and so it's great that you guys stepped up and, and met that. Now you've developed a breakthrough in swing mechanics. What are some of the new moves and combat abilities of the bionic arm? I was actually, playing with the demo over there earlier. Yeah, well, as we can see here, uh -huh. uh, you'll be able to, uh, apart from just swinging around, you can you can uh, pull things, like uh -huh. huge objects out, out of the wall, you can explore further, like go inside buildings and stuff. Is the bionic arm upgradable? Yeah, it is. You, you gain more and more uh, abilities as the game progresses. Now, other than the arm, have you brought any other elements back from the original? Oh yeah, there are several, several things, like uh, wiretapping, right? yeah, wiretapping the enemy communications and characters introduced in the original game make appearances in this one as well. It's, it's a continuation of the storyline. Okay, now we're watching. You can, punch, uh, huh? can punch things around with the arm, you can uh, pull things up from the ground and throw them at the enemy. You can, um, now we're uh, watching him, so he's got his bionic arm. On the other hand, is, is, a, is a gun or some kind of weapon. How many range weapons will there will play if they get their hands on? Uh, I think about. Uh, Five or six. I'm not sure actually at the moment. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> there, there's that. quite a few. Yeah. Okay, well, I want to talk to you about the, uh, the environment. Can we climb on top of everything? And is there a limit to the spaces? Well, that's the, one of the challenges that we, what, that we uh, stumbled upon when we uh -huh. started developing the game because we gave this uh, the ability to the player to, to go pretty much anywhere and get there very fast yeah. with a swing mechanic. Uh, we needed to limit the player somehow, yes. so in a positive way, of course, uh -huh. so that you don't like get lost and to, to kind of simplify the level design. 
of course. So um, uh, you, you can grab onto anything that you can see, but we have certain areas like um, glowing cracks in the walls uh -huh. indicating that you cannot, it's radiated and you cannot connect to that part of the wall. Oh, nice. Uh, otherwise, I mean... Pretty much anything. Yeah, exactly. Now, I want to talk about multiplayer. What type of game modes do you have planned? It's uh, the, the regular modes that you'd expect, I yeah. guess, from, from any right. multiplayer game. Uh, Which is great, what, what you I, hit everything that oh, yeah, yeah. What I think makes it unique is, of course, that you move around with this mechanical arm. And as in the single player campaign, you, campaign, you can use the uh, surroundings, you know, yeah. throwing stuff at the enemies and punching yeah, them around. I was about to ask you if you can still throw things at the ob uh, yeah. throw objects at people, which is also good. Can you also use the landscape to fight in multiplayer? Yeah, 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 yeah you can. Okay. You can, you can hurl cars and containers and, and whatnot. Uh, you can use the uh, uh, the uh, advantage of being above your enemy by using what we call the death from above. Uh, the harder, the, the longer you've fallen towards the enemy, the harder you land, and actually the uh, the uh, uh, the impact will actually you know push uh, enemies uh, or, or damage your enemies. Now, do we have a release date for this? It'll be released this winter. This winter, which sometime. is uh, the end of this year or the beginning of the next one. Now we have an arm over there. I, I see somebody. It's uh, can we do a fist bump? <laughs> a fist bump. Can actually grab onto someone's head. Oh. Or <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. It's a nice big grip. Well, you guys, thank you so much for, for coming on. I'd like to thank both of you. But right now, we are going to send it over to Morgan. Thank you, Olivia. Now, if you think we've covered a lot today, we actually have even more E3 action over on our website, which is, of course, G4TV.com. Correspondent Mark Saltzman is here to tell us everything that's happening on the website. Excellent. All right, hey. what, what do we got on there? All right, well, first we've got high-definition trailers to some of the greatest games here. We've got uh, Ghostbusters, which is a lot of fun, yeah. in high def. you got to check that out, even if you're not a fan of the movie. Of course you are, but if not, <laughs> you'll love the game. It's a blast. Uh, next, we've got Mirror's Edge in high def, one of the best games I've played so far at uh, E3. This is from EA, of course, first-person perspective game developed by the guys at Core out in Sweden. And Fallout 3, post-apocalyptic RPG, amazing. You got to check out the trailers. Now, if you missed the live streaming uh, presentations of our conferences of uh, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, they're all archived as well at g4tv.com. You can watch them at your convenience, as well as the uh, non-console makers. We've got EA, we've got Capcom, THQ, and tomorrow, yep. 5.30 exclusive, we have Konami broadcasted the uh, conference uh, live streaming on g4tv.com. Sounds great. So don't forget, uh, thank you, Mark, and true X-Play fans uh, will recognize his name. Uh, you can get 24-7 coverage of the press conferences, trailers, interviews, and more at g4tv.com. All right, we love gadgets and video games, but um, you know what we love more? Ninjas, Ninja! that's right, G4 Stay Out of the Summer continues for the very first Ninja Warrior episode ever. It was actually never before seen in the States until now. So I witnessed the first tournament featuring the most diabolical force ever created. See the episode that started the Ninja craze, Cash Ninja Warrior 1 on August 3rd, and go to g4tv.com slash Ninja Warrior for info, updates, and to play the Ninja Warrior game. Also, Playing the Ninja Wee. Warrior game is cute and fun, right? Yes. Oh, I yes, can yes, log yes. on and I can do it. It takes a, it takes a, a real cable television hosting duo yes. to go over there and I run know. the real thing. People have been questioning it because we announced it, but I have started my training this week and I will be falling into the water very soon. Yes. I will be trying my best. Do you think you'll make it past the first obstacle? That's my only goal. Yeah. Just to get past the first I just want to show up. If I make it there sober, <laughs> I win. Get a bunch of keychains. That's it. There. Yeah, hey. I'm in Japan. T-shirt, a foam finger. I'm a ninja. <laughs> All right, we're taking a very, very, very short break, but we're coming right back with a vengeance. Rock Band 2 is going to be played live on our stage. Played by who is the question. And just a warning, this performance might make you throw your panties at the TV. If you wear them. This guy can do them. No, oh, you'll make him throw them. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Stick around. Get inside the most anticipated film this year. The Dark Knight, a G4 special preview, tomorrow at 8 after E3. Yo, we are the toughest dudes in New York, hands down. I don't know, dude. These guys are pretty badass. Whatever. Buddy of mine got stuck in a microwave last week. <gasps> oh, dang. Dude, are you okay? I'm all right. I'm just going to walk it off.
opportunities are everywhere. Be ready with new pocket size Axe Bullet. Now, why are you guys drinking Coke Zero? We're not. We're drinking Coke, buddy. But it says Coke Zero on the bottle. Well, they must have messed up then and put Coke in the wrong bottle. I don't see what you... Okay, eyeball. Why don't you try it for us? Oh, I forgot you can't. You don't have a mouth. No mouth. Well, while we're busy drinking Coke, why don't you go stand in front of a hairdryer or something? <laughs> yeah, a hairdryer. What? Real Coke taste. Zero calories. In this home, a family grows. Children learn and play. Bonds are built. But before it was a house, it was a detailed drawing on a plan. The bachelor degree program in construction management in the School of Drafting and Design at ITT Technical Institute offers educational opportunities that can help students prepare for challenging and rewarding careers in the construction industry. There's a demand for individuals with knowledge and skills to manage construction projects. The construction industry needs professionals who can oversee construction projects in accordance with the plans and specifications. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of many, this dream became a home. There are still many more to be built. ITT Technical Institute School of Drafting and Design. Education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. Spritzer girl! Dirty mouth. <laughs> with new Orbit Maui Melon Mint. For a good clean feeling, no matter what. Q Horsepower is here, and no leading synthetic oil delivers more power than Q Horsepower. Unleash all your horses. A J.G. Wentworth success story, Felicia and the Annuity. A few years ago, I inherited an annuity from my grandfather. I started receiving monthly payments from his insurance company. Then everything seemed to happen at once. Felicia's employer moved to another state and she was left unemployed. Your money starts to go pretty fast when there's no cash coming in. J.G. Wentworth knows that a big change in life circumstances can change how you look at your annuity. I heard about J.G. Wentworth through TV ads. If you have an annuity that is no longer serving your needs and you need cash now, call J.G. Wentworth. You'll get a free appraisal and have all your questions answered. Don't wait. The sooner you call, the faster you'll have your money. Call now. J.G. Wentworth helped me and they made it really easy. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Call 866-433-9717. 866-433-9717. G4 is like a clan of plasma pixies who want nothing more than to satisfy your every entertainment indulgence. They will introduce you to the TV shows you need to know about, fawn over your gadget lust, scour the web for the craziest videos, and plug your brain into the latest comics, game systems, and films. They're good like that. Anyhow, G4 is exactly like that. Kinda. song in rock band. Please? All right, you guys, welcome back to E3 OA Live on G4. This is the place where all the biggest and best games are first revealed in the entire world. And you'll see them all this week before anybody else. We've got exclusive hands-on demos of every big title and plenty of surprises in store. Right now, though, let's send it over to Adam and Morgan. All right, last year we took to the stage and played a rock band to the delight of of teenagers and, and parents worldwide. Yes, today we're here with the sequel. Get ready for an exclusive hands-on demo of Rock Band 2. <laughs> All right, now I think what a lot of people want to find out about with the instruments on Rock Band is they want to find out what, what changes to the instruments that they have. Uh, we have Greg Lopicolo, VP of Product Development from Harmonix, is here to, you know, you're going to take us, you're going to be our roadie, and you're going to tell us about the new instruments that we can play in Rock Band 2. Okay. They have actual rosewood fretboards. Ooh, Ooh. Right, Ooh that's, that's kind of fancy. It's a, it's a kind of a rosewood look, but it looks a lot more like real wood. <laughs> um, Rosewood-esque. We were, you know, we had a, like a full year to kind of mess with them. So we, uh, the strum bars are more durable. They feel a lot more precise. Uh, the buttons are quieter. Um, one of the things that's been an issue for these kind of games is just like getting them calibrated. 
So now we have an actual sensor system built in the guitar. So you basically just hold the guitar up, push a button, boom, auto sync. That is fantastic. That is great. Now, yeah. one of the things, and you guys are really good at listening to your fans. And obviously, uh, world tour mode and some online elements are some things you wanted to address, and you are doing that with Rock Band. A couple too. big, yeah, a couple big additions. One thing is like, um, uh, world tour is now online. You can put together a band for people all over the world. You know, sure. Uh, you don't, you don't have to. Your band member doesn't have to stick to the instrument. You can switch, switch instruments, and you know, they're having some trouble over there. They're having a little trouble. <laughs> Somebody hit a button. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't, uh, you don't have to be connected to the band leader. Basically, anybody, as long as some member of the band is saving to a profile, it's loaded. Um, you have a, we put lots of work into making it easier to get into the game and out of the game because you know we got a lot of complaints about that. That's awesome. No, I mean, um, what are some of the new songs? Because that's I think what people are really excited about with Rock Band. Um, Pearl Jam, Metallica, old Metallica. Uh, Bob Dylan, we got for the first time in the video game. Uh, we got a song off the new Guns N' Roses album, Chinese Democracy. Yeah. How, like when you went through putting together, I believe it's like 83, 84? 84 tracks. songs, yeah. Um, how handpicked were they? Did someone get in the room and say, I want that, 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 and that? How, how do you compiled this amazing catalog? It title? was a really long, painstaking, and super fun process where we, like, you know, the people in the group just like argued and argued, and then we saw what license we'd get. We're really proud of it because it's got a lot of depth. We got Devo, we got Rat. You know, we got all kinds of things across the entire spectrum of rock and roll. It's and how about the graphics? I mean, are people going to, like, just recognize it right away? or Same look. Yeah. It's really the same look. The gameplay is really the same gameplay. But we had, since we had another year with all the tools, there's a lot more depth. There's new venues, there's new hairstyles and clothing, there's, like, new camera moves. There's a bit like a rock video mode now where, like, certain songs you can play actually, you know, as a rock video, which is totally cool. Um, how much of Rock Band 2 has been influenced by kind of what the fans' response was to the original Rock Band? Oh, huge. Like, we have a, like a big and very vocal fan community, so we get this, you know, beat over the head on a daily basis. <laughs> so it's pretty much drilled into us what people want. We've been paying attention to that. Well, don't beat your head too much because we want to show you how we can do with Rock Band 2. We're going to do that right after the break. Stick right. around because we're continuing our exclusive hands-on look at Rock Band 2 in just a moment. But before that, let's go over to Kevin. Now, yesterday we got an exclusive hands-on demo of Fable 2, and of course it looks great. Now, for the Do latest like on this epic now? tale, Allison sat down with the game's mastermind, Peter Molyneux. Thanks. Allison here in the very green Microsoft Lounge. And standing next to me is Peter Molyneux, creative director of Lionhead Studios, who's going to talk to us today about Fable 2. So give me a brief recap of Fable 2. Right, it's a role-playing game. It's set 500 years further on from Fable 1, and we've taken all the innovation that we had in Fable 1, and we've tried to add a whole lot more. But the key thing is we've wrapped an incredible story around it, a story written by screenwriters and direct help with directors and actors. Some of those innovations are you've never seen before in the game. We've got a dog. This is the, mo the state of the art artificial intelligent dog. Your dog is unique to you. Your world is unique to you. It will change depending on what you do in the story and your hero is unique to you. And that's really important because we've got something called ambient orbs and means over live, if you're wandering through your world, you can set the game up so you can see your friends playing in their world. You can walk up to one of those ambient orbs and say, hey, come and see my world and the dog will come in there and they'll be really excited and they'll see what you look like as a hero. And that means that you're doing more than a normal co-oping. Normally, co-oping is all about fighting. But for me, in Fable, co-oping is about, is about showing off and it's about you know, playing the game together. Now, have you revealed anything new about the game since being here at E3? The, the ambient orb stuff was always something new. I've also been talking a little bit about um, all the customization you can do with your character. You know, there is, what we're trying to do is give you an unlimited ability to change, to tint any part of, um, of the clothing, to change, to put tattoos on and scars on. And it really is incredible the, uh, the amount of customization that goes on. But we control ultimately what your hero looks like because he's a reflection of what your personality is like. So watch it. If you do nasty stuff, your hero will not will look like a nasty dude. I would never do nasty stuff. I don't believe it. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Allison. Do you ever think I'd be excited about a game where you'd have a, a pet dog? But that's pretty exciting. I am. Yeah, I, mean, it's, it's, I know you've always wanted a dog, you're too busy, and so right. now it's virtual. And now if I purposely don't feed the virtual dog, it's still totally fine. <laughs> it is.
Coming up after the break, we'll have a live musical performance by one of Rock's legendary acts, us. Get ready to hold up a lighter or two. Come on. I don't know if I should be singing. I don't know I either, but you're going trying. to. I'm going to be switching with you. It's a four-member group, two men, two women, rocking their hearts out. I'm, I'm hoping it's not me, and it's not ABBA. <laughs> it's not ABBA. It's probably us. Uh, all right, exclusive hands-on demo rock band. Two continues right after this. Plug your ears for me. Sorry. E308 Live is brought to you by Wendy's. It's way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. You're a safe driver. Isn't it about time you got paid for being one? Only Allstate will send you an actual bonus check worth up to 5% of your premium every six months you go without an accident. Call an Allstate agent now or 866-ALLSTATE so you can get the rewards you deserve. This is not the time to wish you had accident forgiveness. Now is the time to get accident forgiveness from Allstate. Starting the day you sign up, your rates won't go up just because you have an accident, even if it's your fault. Call 866-ALLSTATE before you drive again. This is not the time to wish you had better insurance. You don't have to skimp on quality protection with Allstate. In fact, drivers who switched from GEICO to Allstate saved an average of 27%. That's an average of $518 a year. And you don't have to wait for your current policy to expire. Call 866-ALLSTATE. Can you afford not to be in good hands? We are a very close family. Me and my mom are like best friends. I have a degree in computer drafting. When we went to ITT Tech and we saw the drafting program, I just thought this would be her place. And it was a great school because it was a lot of hands-on. Uh, my mom was the one that helped me decide to go to ITT Tech. One evening we were coming home, we happened to be driving by, and I just pulled in the parking lot and said, let's go see what they have to offer. And I started the next day. The teachers, they were very nice, very friendly. Like if you needed to stay for a while and needed help with your work, they'd help you. My passion is coaching girls ice hockey. And that was another big thing. I had time to do things that I enjoyed while going to school. But then at graduation, they gave us a rose to give to the person that influenced you the most. So I gave it to my mom. Really, if it wasn't for her pushing me to go, I'd, <laughs> I probably would have still been at home. <laughs> I'm extremely proud of you. It's been a wonderful experience to watch you grow and become a real woman. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052. Battle for Global Supremacy. The Championship Gaming Series. Starts tonight at 9 right after E3. Part of G4 Stay Out of the Sun Summer. This commercial changed my life. It all started when I used this free research service. A computer and a desire to succeed is all you need. With all the money I made, I bought a new home and a new car. My goal for next month, $60,000. Use your computer to make more. I love the freedom my home business offers. And the money just keeps getting better. Not working from home? Then you're missing out on your share of a billion dollar industry. Visit this website now. I make over $9,000 a month working part time. I make over $5,000 a month. Never thought I'd make this much right out of school. All you need is to visit this website. They showed me how to use the power of television to build real wealth. I'm making over $12,000 a month. Check it out yourself. You'll see why I love working from home. Ready for more wealth? Put your computer to work now. Start making more from your home by going to this website today. Log on to 82hbiz.com now. Whiskey, Nancy, whiskey, 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 Nancy, oh. Hey, that's right, we finally have a chance to play Rock Band 2, everybody. We're playing, but we can't hear the audio. Spiders, Captain Tuck, and Rob, as you can see. 
to work because coming up tomorrow we've got hands-on in-depth high-def looks at Far Cry 2. We battled the infected in Left 4 Dead and we check out the latest legend in fighting games Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe plus deadly creatures for the Wii and everyone can't play a little little big planet all the big names all the big games and there's only one place bringing it all to you live and in your face G4. That's it. That is it for day one, everybody. G4, G4 stay, stay out, out of the sun. The summer continues. Very excited about it. I love to stay out of the I hate the sun. I hate the sun. It comes with rest of light it. forever. It goes on tonight and tomorrow at 6. And don't miss X Play's Best of E3 Awards Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Yes, visit g4tv.com slash E3 for additional exclusive E3 content. What, I mean, what was your favorite thing that you saw? Adam. Can I? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Kevin. Uh, 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 Kevin, go Kevin. Killzone. Uh, I mean, now, it, it, and, and here's the thing. For the it, fourth it, look, year in a, a row. Lot, a lot of games look amazing, but here's the thing. It, okay. it, it, may, it has to make a believer out of you now from that, that target gameplay that they showed. It looked amazing. And there were moments where I said, oh, wow, look at the animation of these guys climbing over the rail, the depth of field effects, taking the cover so you're actually hidden by the cover. You feel immersed in the world. Yeah. I, I, I got to reserve judgment until I get my hands on it, but I like looking I, at it. I have to say, for me, it was the, the opportunity to showcase my musical abilities. Oh, I was oh very impressed. Were you? I was, I was oh, very impressed. Yeah. Your Thank dulcet you. tones just. Yes. I've never been trained. I couldn't and tell. Perfect pitch. I could oh. not. Born with I it. just, it just came out, so I was very excited about that. <laughs> Adam, what about you? Uh, Prince of Persia. Yeah, yeah. Morgan? Uh, Force Unleashed. Yeah. The new costume was pretty awesome. All right, thanks for watching. We really appreciate you tuning in. Thank Good you guys. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And the <laughs>